Welcome to the Church of God, 4601 South Drexel Boulevard, where we teach the truth, where we preach the truth, where we live the truth. We don't just uh, get up here and talk like many others do, but we live what we're saying by the grace of God. Appreciate God for salvation. Appreciate God for keeping me on today. Uh, in, in spite of what the devil said on today, the, the many uh, 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 wiles of the devil on today, I really appreciate God for his grace that kept me free from sin by the grace of God. I'm glad to be saved in times like these. It is perilous times, and uh, 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 what better time to be saved? What better time to have a connection with heaven? What better time is there uh, to have a, 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 a communion with God where God can talk to you and lead you and guide you, give you wisdom uh, through this maze of life, you know, uh, the ups and downs of life and, and, and people talking about you, doing all types of stuff, but to have a connection with God. Amen. It, is, it is something to treasure. It is something to hold on to. It is something to fight for for your life. You don't, you don't want to give up your birthright. You don't want to give it up. You don't want to give up uh, uh, this, this, this good life, this best life. You know, as it said, uh, my best day is sin <laughs> or my worst day is salvation. Right. It's better than my best day is sin. It is better. There is, that's not even a comparison because there's nothing that compares to being saved. There's nothing, being, there's nothing that compares to being changed. There's nothing compared to having a clean heart, Amen. a clear conscience. There's nothing that compared to, can compare to that. That's My God, Lord, help us on tonight. We want to acknowledge the Lord in all our ways that he may direct our path. I pray um, um, that you uh, pray for us, those that can get a prayer through. Pray for us on this evening. We desire to give what the Lord has given and get out of the way by the help of the Lord. Dear God, Lord in heaven, as we come before your throne of mercy and grace this evening, Lord God, our mind goes to how good you've been, dear God, and how faithful you've been to us, dear Lord, and how you've been there. You, yeah. You've just been there, dear God. Oh, yeah. Lord God, bad situations, Lord God, <coughs> a situation that were dire, dear God, where we felt like, Lord God, we couldn't take another step, and looking back, Lord God, we realized you were in it after all. Oh, yeah. We realized you were there, Lord God, carrying us through, dear God. Lord God, keeping us unspotted from this world, dear God. You were there, dear God, talking in our ear, dear God, talking even through dreams, dear God, through, through little things, you know, working around the house, dear God, just talking to us, dear God. We thank you, dear God, for your faithfulness to us, dear God. Now tonight, Lord God, we come, dear God, looking for you to bless, looking for you to touch, looking for you to meet needs in Jesus' name, dear God. Lord God, meet, looking for you to feed your people, dear God, for your glory, dear God. Lord God, looking for you to heal, dear God. Looking for you to save, dear God. Looking for you to reclaim, dear God. Looking for you to give direction in Jesus' name. So we pray that you just bless, dear God. Lord God, pray for our nation, dear God. Lord God, the turmoil that's going on with the this virus, Lord, Lord God, people not submitting to you, dear God. We pray, Lord God, we realize you're still in control. Lord, you haven't lost control. Lord, you will never lose control, dear God. Lord God, you want men to come to you in repentance, dear God, giving their hearts to you, dear God. So, Lord, we pray that you deal with hearts in Jesus' name. Lord God, go into those bedrooms, Lord God, those nursing homes, dear God. Lord God, wherever the saints may be, your people are that may be afflicted in pain. Lord God, touch, heal even now for your divine glory in Jesus' name. Lord, we'll just have your way on this evening. Lord God, what's accomplished, we will surely give your name all the praise and all the glory. For you are worthy. In Jesus' name we're praying. Amen. Amen. Um, I can't just, I can't say it enough. I'm just glad to be saved. Yes, sir. I look at um, different things, you know, we get on our phones and updates about different things and like that. And, and I just, I just, the worse things get, the more I just thank God that I'm saved. If God was to come back <laughs> now, I thank God I'm ready by the grace of God. All right. I don't have to be, oh, I got to do this, oh, I got to fix that, I got to fix that. That's how the saints live. We live ready. Oh, yeah. yes, sir. Yes, sir. If you didn't know, the saints live ready. Ain't no thousand year reign where we're going to be getting ready and getting tried. We're being tried right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. They talk about how the devil going to be loose a thousand years and all that. You know that's false doctrine. Yes, it is. 
If he ain't lose now, I, you can't stand now. You talk about that time, you definitely ain't going to be able to stand. But thank God that's false doctrine. We can stand by the grace of God. God has given us direction. He's given us a roadmap. He's given us instruction on how to make heaven our own. But we have to have a heart and a mind to obey what he has put before us. Oh, is it easy all the time? No. <laughs> no. Do we, have to, do we have our struggles? Yes, we do. Do we sometimes don't understand? Yep, that happens too because we're human. Do sometimes we, we may misspeak? Yep, sometimes we do because we're human. But when God says, okay, you need to correct that, Correct it. Yeah. Speaking on that, I mentioned something last time I was up about uh, the Shulamite woman. He was uh, he was dead. He, he wasn't. I, I was thinking of another thought, and I was going ahead of myself. And the Shulamite son was dead when she left. I wanted to correct that. Please forgive me for that. Walk in the light as he's in the light, right? That's how we keep ourselves clear. Keep ourselves pure. The Lord say corrected it. It ain't about being shamed and all of this. Wow, Pride right. comes in and say, no, that's all right. No, the Lord said corrected, you corrected. Amen. That's walking in the light as he is in the light. Yes, sir. I can't tell you to do it if I don't do it. Come on, amen. So please forgive me for that. Amen. Let's go to uh, James 1 here. Praise God. I have a thought on my heart. Bless the Lord. Start at one, first one, please. James, a servant of God. A servant of God. And of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of the Lord Jesus Christ. To the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Yes. Greeting, my brethren. Yes. They, there was a reason they were scattered abroad. Yeah. People of God, they were they were persecuted. They were they there was a need for them to scatter. Sometimes in the, in the scripture, the, the saints of God couldn't even gather together. Right. They were under so much persecution and scrutiny, they had to literally run for their lives. Sure, yeah. Literally. We talk, uh, generally speaking, how we're not suffering like the saints of God did back then. There are some saints that are suffering what these saints were suffering. Mm. Yeah. You look over like in China. You look over all the different places in, in, uh, 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 where they're being beheaded, they're being uh, put in jail for giving a Bible or uh, right. talk, saying the scripture, being put in jail for life, yeah. being beaten, tortured just because they want to spread the good news. They are being persecuted. Thank God we have the liberty we have. Yeah. Thank God we have the liberty we have. We can free, yeah. freely. Sometimes we have spirits that come across the media and Different things and laws they try to put out there to try to try to muzzle the muzzle the ox as it were. But thank God we have a liberty where we can preach the word of God. Amen. Thank God we, we that's what I'm thankful about with America. Yes. <laughs> Amen. If that's one thing we can thank thank God for with America, we, we have liberty to preach the truth. Yeah. Amen. Amen. True, yep. Go ahead, my sister. Verse two. Uh-huh. My brother. My brother. Count it all joy. Ooh, count it all joy. When you fall into diverse temptations. Every last one of them. Knowing this. Count them. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Every last Amen. one. Mm. All of them. No, there's no two categories. Everything we suffer, everything we deal with, every tribulation we go through, put it under the umbrella of joy. Lord, show mercy. Well, count it all as joy, Sister Carissa. Yes, sir. Heartaches, pains, persecutions, backstabbing, hurt feelings. Somebody treated you wrong. Family don't talk to you. Lose my job. Car accident. Lose a loved one. Count it all joy. Keep on. When you fall into diverse temptations, uh -huh. knowing this, that the trying of your faith 
Work is patience. See, we can count it as joy because we know something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're confident about yeah. something. We're confident, and we know that what? The trying of your faith. The trying of my personal profession, my personal faith. Yeah. It's got to be tried. Yeah. It's got to be proven. It, it, it's it's got to be. It got to be. I have to have it resolved that I'm not going back to this stuff. Yeah. I got to have a resolve within me that, Lord, no matter what I go through, no matter what I face, I got to settle it. I'm going to serve you with all my heart. I'm going to serve you with all my soul. I, there's nothing else reserved for anything else but you. I got to reserve to serve you no matter what I go through. Yeah. Amen. And the one scripture tells us to rejoice in all. Oh yeah, sometimes it is hard. It's, it, it is hard yes, it is. to rejoice. It's like, how can I find happiness or joy in this situation? <laughs> but there is something that's deep within us. <laughs> when we start thinking about the goodness and the mercies of God, and it starts just bubbling and churning and churning and churning, and all of a sudden it just erupts. Trials and tribulations doesn't quench our joy. Oh, no. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. No joy, no strength. If you find yourself not enjoying your salvation, uh -huh. watch out. Right. Watch out. You find yourself not enjoying reading, praying, all those different things right. that keep us living this holy life. Watch out. Amen. Wait a minute. I got to check. Wait. Hold on. I got to wait. When did I lose it? my joy? When? When? You know, sometimes you, you're driving and then you, you pull into the, the driveway or whatever. You come out and you look at your tire and it's like, well, I got to, what happened to it? Right. It's deflated, so. Slowly. Mm -hmm. Slow leak. People have slow leaks in their experience. Yes, True. You come out and you got to continue to go to the gas station and put air in it. Right. Continue to go to the guys and spending money, putting the air in. Won't go get it fixed. You need a quick fix. Come on. Put the air in. Put the air in. But you still losing the air. Right. Get to the root of it. Why am I losing air? Go get it fixed. Amen. The right way. Yeah. Uh -huh. In our in our salvation, sometimes we feel we 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 we're depleted. We're deflated. Yeah. We 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 lose something. We we let some things slip. And we, it is like that 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 tire. If for some reason it the seal on it, it the, the elements wears it away. If we're not careful, the, the elements, the life, the trials and tribulation, it'll wear away at our seal. It'll bother our seal. Where we find find we don't have the joy that we used to have. We don't have the peace that we used to have. We don't have the care or the love that we used to have. Pull into the mechanic, the tire shop. They dip it in the water. We put the air in there, dip it in the water. This is water. I, I, what the scripture talks about a, a, a wash you make you yeah. clean yeah. water you dip your dip your life into the word Amen. okay we trying to find out where the, where the problem is yeah. you submerge the whole thing not part of it yeah. you submerge the whole thing in there yeah. and you hold it under the water okay where is the problem yeah. search scripture says search the scriptures See whether you be in the faith. Amen. We, we, we wanna we wanna walk circumspectly. Yes, have I been tainted? Have I been Come affected on. by this world? Have I been affected by the situation? Am right. I losing the air? We we keeping it in the water. We, we want to stay in the word. Yeah. We want to stay in the word because that's when that's how we know we yeah. live it right. Yeah. Through the word, not because yeah. of what I say, but because of what I'm living, what I'm applying. What I what I study, what I'm applying in my everyday life, right. I got to see. Okay, where's the hole? Oh, there it is. There it is. And then you take it out of the water and you mark it. 
You mark that spot. I don't want. I don't want to overlook that spot. I want to deal with that spot. Sometimes I'm telling you, it's not fixable. You got to. You got to take the whole thing out. You got to get a new tire. You got to purchase a new tire because of, because a of, of patch not gonna fix this. You got to deal with the whole thing. Get rid of it. There are some things that God sometimes He tells you in your spirit. You get them out. No, that got to go completely. Get that out of here. You find out people, they, they, they'll be saved for a year. Backslide. Saved for five years. Backslide. Saved for ten years. Backslide. Every, every leak is not the same. Sometimes you have blowouts. Trouble. It, it could have meant your life. Some people have blowouts and they, they, they like a second. Yes, sir. Sometimes God will have a get, have a blowout and spread and it's like, how did I get off? How did I get over to the side? How did I get off out of this? It was God's mercy. Yes. It was God's mercy. Yes. But get the new tire. Go yes. and get it fixed. Get to the root of the issue. Amen. Come on. God can heal your backslide. Yes. Right. Yes, He can. Yes. So in yes. the great cloud of witnesses, God has healed people's backslide. He can do it for you too. The devil tell you, oh, there's no hope for you. Oh, you're never going to stay safe. You're not going to be like this one or that one. You're not supposed to be like this one or that one. You're supposed to be like Jesus. Amen. Compare yourself amongst yourself. You are not why. Well, how is it that you can stay safe? I got to stay safe the same way you got to stay safe. Obey the Spirit of God. Amen. It's as simple as that. Yes. Just obey. The trial of your faith. Uh -huh. Knowing this, uh -huh. that the trying of your faith worketh patience. It worketh patience. I don't know how far I'm going to get with this, but patience. See how we wait for the next word? Patient. Patient. Sometimes that's why, that's how God wants us to do yeah. in, in our situations. Mm -hmm. Just wait for the next word. Yeah. True. In the silence, God is working. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. And too many times when, in this age of Laodicea, mm -hmm. the age of everything is, 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 is right there in my hand. Right. I can pull it. I, can, I don't even have to tap it. I can just speak it to my phone and it comes up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has affected us to a point where we expect God to work just like that. Yeah. We just speak it and then it's just done. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But you know what that is? It's because we don't want to suffer. That's it. Yeah. We don't want to, we don't want, we don't want uh, uh, our, our faith tried. <laughs> you may have been waiting on the spouse for two years, three years. You know your faith is being tried. Yes, it is. Oh, it looks like there's a dearth in the land. Your faith is being tried. Right. Listen, the devil will use anything he can. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. To distract you. He will use anything he can to get you offline. He will get you do anything he can to get you out of order with God. Right. He'll yeah. use anything. Yep. And anybody. Anybody. Yes. Anybody. anybody. We cannot, we have to be able to see who the enemy is. Yes. We have to be able to recognize the enemy. Yes. Uh -huh. It ain't, it ain't you. No, it's not. You got to be able to, like Jesus told Peter, Satan, get thee behind me. He saw what was using him. Right. He saw what was trying to hinder him from doing what he was supposed to do. It was the devil. That's the real enemy. That's you know my enemy. It's the devil that's the enemy of your soul and my soul. Amen. Go ahead, keep going, my sister. Knowing this, Amen. that the trial of your faith yes. worketh patience. Yes. But let patience have her place. Let it. Work. Let it. Allow it. Yes. Wait. Let it. Let it develop you. Let it work on you. Yes. Let it fortify you. Let it. Let it. You sitting there, it's like you're waiting on to just sit there watching the concrete, trying to wait for it to say, 
Are you sad yet? You said, go take care of something else. It's going to do what it's supposed to do. It's going to harden. It's going to set. Let it. Go ahead, my sister. But let patience have her perfect work. Let it, work. let it have her perfect work. That ye may be perfect. That ye may be perfect. And entire. And entire. Complete. Wanting nothing. Mature. Yes. Wanting nothing. 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 Praise God. Do we still believe that we can be lacking nothing yes. in our salvation? Yes, sir. We can be. Where the light is, that's right where we are. We're not ahead of it. We're not behind it. We're not. Oh, we're right there with the light. Oh, obey all that we know. That's the experience of the saints of God. We obey what we know. Sure. The thought I want to deal with: the need for nothing. There, let's go over uh, Revelation 3, verse 17. Praise God. And Lord's willing, we'll try to get back to uh, James. Uh, Revelation because, 3. Go ahead. Because thou sayest. Wait, go up a little higher here. Go ahead. 15. Uh, I know thy works. Yes. Verse 15. I know thy works. I know thy works. That thou art neither cold Do nor hot. Do you know that God knows us? If you have fooled me, you ain't fooled God. Right. Right. He knows. Oh, yes, he knows. Oh, yeah. I know thy works. Go ahead. That thou art neither cold nor hot. Have you cooled off? Oh, my God. Have you gotten lukewarm? Maybe you're not all the way cold, but you just let up a little bit. You're cooling off. I mentioned this, that, that, that mountain that was on fire in the morning, morning time, and it was going down into the sea. Oh, God. That's, a, that's, a, that's, that's cooling off. That's apostasizing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's backsliding. Yeah. It didn't go all into the sea all at once. No. Right, uh -huh. right. It just cooled off. Yeah. Let up here. Mm -hmm. Let up there. Let up here. Mm -hmm. Let up there. Let up here. Lord, Lord, forgive me. Uh, but okay. I, I just confess, I didn't repent. Right? Come on. Right, bro. Big difference. Going into the sea. Go ahead, my sister. My God. I know thy works. I know your works. That thou art neither cold nor hot. That thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. I would that you were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm. Let me know where you stand. <laughs> Look, it's not false flagging. Yeah. I have more respect for you. Just say, look, bro, listen, right. I, I just don't want to be saved right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I respect that more than, you know, that. Pray, pray for me. Just pray for me. You know, I, I'm not where I want to be, but thank God I'm not what I used to be. Mm -mm. Come on now. Where, where we get that from? Where did that come from? That ain't scripture nowhere. <laughs> where we get that from? I'm not what I want to be, but thank God I'm not what I what I used to be. I've been partaking at some other table somewhere. All right, yes, sir. It is not the Lord's table. <laughs> I've been partaking somewhere else. Let me know where you stand. This is, God, this is what God is saying. I'm bringing to, to, to a, up, up, to, up to date here. Where you stand? Where you at? Where you really at? This is where the true saints of God examine ourselves. We comb through our lives. You know, we have chapters in our lives. We comb through, okay, how I started. I remember I was on fire. I remember I, I, oh, yeah, I would deal with souls. I remember I, I was telling people just I couldn't help myself. I'm just, hey, you know Jesus. I just I I, I wasn't waiting for them to open up the door. I would I would, I would push the door open. Hey, have you heard about Jesus? Yeah. Yeah. Sure, we learned some things. We learned sometimes we went a little too uh brash. 
passion, brother. <laughs> but but the zeal of our of our, of our house was eating us up. And we just had to tell somebody. It's, and the soul said, like, I couldn't keep it to myself. Right, right. One of the souls said, it was like fire, shut up in my bone. I just, if you burn it, if something's burning you, you're going to react some way. That's right. Amen. Amen. This, this, this treasure that earth and vessel, it, it's, it's just like, oh, I got to tell somebody. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Praise God. Even if it's just through my life that I'm living, I got to tell somebody about this good news. Amen. What God has done for me. Yes, sir. How God saved me. He set me free. How I don't lie no more. I don't cheat no more. Yeah. I don't I don't gawk and, and flirt and all that stuff anymore. Amen. Yes, sir. Yeah. On my private messaging folk talking about all types of Lord, have mercy. Come on. People are doing this stuff and talking about, oh well. Pray, pray for me. I, 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 I'm trying to live right. Oh, what? <laughs> you trying to live right? Where did this come from? Under this teaching, if you try to live right? Come on, brother. Come on. No, I know where you at. You might not say it, but I know where you're at. Go ahead, my sister. Verse 16. Yes. So then because thou art lukewarm. Thou art lukewarm. And neither cold nor hot. Neither cold nor hot. I will spew thee I'm out gonna, of my mouth. Like throw you up. And you make me so sick yeah. to my stomach. Oh my yeah. You know, you've eaten something and it don't sit well with us. Sure. Sure. Your body reacts all type of ways. Yeah. yeah. Start your body start getting hot and all that all types of stuff start happening because your body is rejecting what has been eaten. Yeah. yeah. It's like this don't belong here. Right. I got to get it out. Uh, some way, one way or another. And it comes up with, with force you can't even hold. <laughs> That's right. One way or the other. <laughs> one way one way or the other. <laughs> it's coming out because it don't belong. <laughs> but it, 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 it comes out with force. Yes, yes. It made me so sick that my body had to react this way. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's real, bro. Go ahead, my sister. Verse 17. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with good. Because thou sayest. Yes. Yeah. I say it myself. I say it myself. That I am rich. Right. And oh, I'm blessed and highly favored. And that with fire. I'm saved, sanctified, and very much encouraged to live for God. And you're saying it. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, no. But what? Because thou sayest, because thou I am rich. I am increased with goods. And increased with goods. And have need of nothing. Yes. And knowest not that thou art wretched. You notice how people think that just because God is a blessing them naturally, yeah, bro. Come on, they think they have favor with God. Bring it out, bro. Yes, deception. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the deceitfulness yes, of riches. Yes. Absolutely. Riches deceive. Yes, yeah. Things deceive. You may be going to put uh, put in that that, that that pre approval or whatever, and, and oh yeah, you can get this and you can get that and the other. Oh, thank God, He blessed me to do this and blessed me to do that, and, and your life ain't nowhere near obedience to God. Wow, wow. God is trying to use His goodness to draw you to yeah. repentance. <laughs> it's the goodness of the Lord that leadeth me. The goodness of the Lord, all you got to do is follow it. Goodness here, goodness there. You follow it right into the Lord. You follow it right to repentance. God, you've been so good to me. I just don't, I just want to serve you. It breaks you down. It did love goes a whole, whole lot further than fear. God extends his love. He puts his love out there. He reaches beyond what we even can think or imagine to grab people yes, and pull them out of the fire. Yeah, yeah. He pulls them out of them situations. Yeah. Yeah. When God deals with people in, with fear, he say, I don't love ain't work with you. I got to deal with you a whole nother way. Yeah, yeah, the scriptures say, some you win. 
the compassion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. Making a difference. Others mm -hmm. with fear. Yeah. So now, because of love, the goodness, of credit score 800, mm. you get back property. Mm -hmm. You married a woman of your dreams. Right. Married a man of your dreams. But your reality ain't. You, 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 you have your children. You, you, you go on and go to school. And you on a dean's list, and mm -hmm. uh, 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 people speaking highly of you. Yeah. And you got, you got, uh, uh, you got favor with this one and that one. You've networked, and you can do this. Oh, you can make a call, and oh, such and such recommended them. Pull their resume. You can do all of that, huh. and it can deceive you to make you think right. you have a relationship That's with right. God. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes. Well said, yeah. Driving up with a new car. Uh -huh. Bro, that's about $800 a month. Oh, it's paid for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Living good. Yeah. Living high on the hog. Living real good. God said, it's going to do one of two things. It's going to save you, uh -huh. or it's going to damn you. Yeah. You choose. Yeah. Because I'm being good to you. Yeah. That's right. I'm, I'm showing mercy to you. I'm showing favor to you. But it's for a purpose. Sometimes with our children, we, we extend mercy. We extend, uh, we, we, we show favor in certain things to, to try to help them, uh, help them along to make yeah. a, a good decision and uh, 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 do the right thing. Sometimes you put principles out there. Hey, I shouldn't have to tell you to take out the garbage. How, didn't you see the garbage full? Right. I shouldn't have to tell you to clean your room. Right. You see your clothes on the floor? I shouldn't have to tell you. So what you do, you, you go in and you do certain things to try to put them in a, in a mindset to, wait, I need to go do this. I need to, I need to handle that. I need to do this. Dealing with, uh, I got two grown children, you know, two, two uh, toddler and a, and a teen. The dynamics that's in, in my home, oh, my Lord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some things I, the, 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 the liberty or the authority, the authority that I had at one point, I don't have that level of liberty and authority anymore with, with, with two of them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, if you in my house, you're in this my house, and oh!
But then you build and, 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 and patience is working. Now all of a sudden you able to push back. Oh, yeah. You able to get you got some some birth about yourself. And you oh no, I'm not taking this anymore. And you start pushing back. Yeah. 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 Well, we got the patience have this perfect work. Joseph, then all of a sudden, Joseph delivers from the jail. Came second in power. Mm -hmm. Look at God. Look, look. Look at God have mercy. Mm -hmm. He was accused of, of, of coming on to, to, to the man's wife. Mm -hmm. He didn't do anything wrong. He, he ripped out his clothes getting away, but he went to jail even for that. Yeah. But was, God was working something, bro. Yes, God sir. was building yes, something sir. in him. Amen. He dealing with these situ situations being yeah, wrong and, and yeah. find himself in, 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 in a bad situation in life. What did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. What did I do? And then all of a sudden, all this is preparing him yeah. to meet his brothers years later. Yeah. Yeah. To the point when he saw Amen. Oh, I didn't think I was ever going to see them again. Oh, mine went way back to what they did to him. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Amen. Sometimes we got to deal with some things in our past. Yeah. yeah. We got to overcome our past. We don't realize that what we're going through right now is to help us to over face and overcome what we've dealt with in our past. Yes. Joseph, dealt with his brothers lovingly. He wasn't been, he, won, he wanted to see if they were changed. Right. Mm -hmm. If the situation had changed, maybe there's something. Okay, we're going to prove this out. Okay, we're going to prove this out. See, patience was having this perfect work because he was able to deal with his brothers. They wronged him and he was able to deal with them with patience. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Okay? Yeah. And they come to the point he couldn't hold it back I'm your brother. Yep. Amen. I'm your brother. I have the authority. I have the power yeah. to cut you down. Yeah. I have it. I can I can say it and it can happen. You can stop breathing right now, but oh, the patience had his perfect work. He didn't lack anything. He had patience. He had charity. And he extended it to his brothers. Yes, yeah. sir. Broke Amen. down his brothers. God have mercy. Lord help us. Yeah. Let yeah. patience have a perfect work. But if we're in a position where we feel like I have need of nothing, Lord bless. I have need of nothing. No, hey, bro, can, can I talk with you about this? Oh, I got it. Yeah. Hey, bro, I want you to consider. Nah, no, I know how to live this life. Some, someone had told me that I know how to live safe. Okay. I was like, whoa. Right. Whoa. Right. He, yeah. Wait, you, you come to the the blessed old church of God, you know how to live safe. See, what I was taught is that you're saved to your next message. Mm -hmm. You obey the spirit of God. You don't know what God is going to have you do in the future. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. right. But you've already written it up. already know what to do. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. All right. Because the spirit, we're led, we walk in the spirit. We're led by the spirit. We don't know what the Spirit of God is going to have us to do. Truly. Something that I was holding firm right. when I was a convert. Yeah. I was a convert in God. And I, I'm like, my zeal. And I'm, I'm, oh, I don't do this. I don't do that. I don't do this. I paint myself in the corner. Yes. Yeah. And all of a sudden, yeah. the Holy yeah. Ghost started to work in the same way. Wait a minute. Okay, right. now, this will be favorable for this soul that you're going to be dealing with, that you're dealing with. You need to step out of your comfort zone, the box you painted, right. you painted yourself in the corner. Come on, I didn't put you in that corner, you did. Come yeah. on out of that corner so you can affect the soul, so you can be wise yeah. in dealing with souls. Yeah. Yes, sir. We got to be careful making, making these proclamations that I don't do this and I don't do that and I don't, we don't commit sin. That's the proclamation we can make. I don't sin by the grace of God. Amen, brother. Amen. The boys went in there and ate that showbread. God said, go in there and eat it. Yep. So I said, what well, we not going to do, what, the, what we declaring and all, declare that we don't commit sin. Because God can say, go eat that showbread. Mm -hmm. yes. Amen. God can say, uh, uh, hit the rock. And then God can say, speak to the rock. Yep. 
He's he God. He can do what he wants to do. Yes, sir. But if I, I if, uh, if I have the mindset I, I don't have need for nothing, I'm, I'm, I'm blocking out the spirit of God. And I'm beginning to end up hurting people. Yeah. I'm a, because I'm going in my own mind because I know how to do this. I know how to put the scriptures together, but the spirit is not in it. We have to, God help us. We don't can't deal with people with the letter of the law. We got to yeah. deal with people with the spirit of the law. That's, right. That's, right. That's how we're going to help people. We gonna, yeah. uh, the scriptures talk about how uh, we have this ministry of reconciliation. Yeah. That's not dogmatic. That's bringing ourselves to the aid of the person. Yeah. That's bowing ourselves down. Say, God has bowed himself down and say, I want to reconcile with you. I didn't do anything wrong to you. You, you wronged me, but yeah, I want right. to reconcile with you. Yeah. Hey, how, let's reason. Let's yeah. talk. Yeah. This is the almighty God doing this. Yeah. Let, let, let's, yeah. let's talk. How, how, let's see how we, how, we, how we can fix our relationship. Because mm -hmm. I want to have a relationship with you. So what do you think needs to be done so that, you know, we can have a, 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 a good relationship? Mm -hmm. This is the almighty God doing this. Yes. If we take on a dogmatic attitude towards the, the souls of men, oh, you just not, you just not, you just not, you not, oh, you out, you out, you out, you in, you out, you out, you, who are we? Right. When God has, Jesus emptied himself. Yes. 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 Jesus, Jesus, he rode in on a donkey. Come on, yeah. <laughs> he, he walked with the, with the sinners. Yeah. Yeah. He did all these things to give us an example in today's time how we should work with people, yeah. how we should deal with people, how we should advise people, how we should counsel people, how we should preach to people, how we should right. live with people. Amen. We need to develop relationships with people. Amen. Let's stop being so touchy. Ugh. What type of ministry is that? We don't want to put our hands in there and get in there and, and pull people out. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So even as ministers, we got to let patience have its purpose. Yes, yes. So that we can be tired. Tired. Yep. Lacking nothing. Amen. Very good, brother. My God. Paul needed something to develop in his ministry. It showed up in uh well that uh Paul Barnabas concerning John Mark. Yeah. Yeah. I look at this like this. That was something that was lacking. Paul had a reason to say, oh no, not John, John Mark. Mm -hmm. He had a reason. But John Mark, he, he, he was fresh. He wasn't, he, he had to learn some things. Mm -hmm. Barnabas saw that. Okay, I, I'll take him with me. I, I'll work with him on the back. Right. Praise yeah. God. So the point, I'll say, hey, I know I said right, no right, before, right. but uh, hey, send, yeah. send me John Mark. Come on. Because John Mark, he, he, he waxed strong, even in that situation, and he became more profitable than Paul saw it. Now, Paul, I look at him as one of the greater, greater, uh, uh, preachers of, of right. the scripture. He, he set up churches, he established churches in different places, spoke many languages, and he said, I, 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 I became all to all men and that I may win some. He had a lot of wisdom in situations, but Paul also had a thorn in his flesh. Yes, he did. I don't know what that thorn was, but it kept him on his knees. What's keeping us on our knees? Don't get off our knees, saints. Yes, Amen. What's keeping us on our knees? Because most of all, we have a need for God. Yes. Not the things that God gives, but just the pure essence of God. That's what yes, we have absolutely. the need for. Amen. I'd rather have Jesus, yes. the song say, than anything. Yes. anything. Yes. I'd rather have Jesus. You can you can bring all these riches, all these different things like that, and, 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 and dangle all these things just like the devil did. I'll show, show 
took them up on a pinnacle, showed them this and the glory of it. Yeah. And, you know, you know, we face all these things. You can go here, you can go there, you can do this, you can do that, yeah. you can make money doing this, you can do that, you can do this and do all of this different stuff. But I'd rather have Jesus Amen. Yeah. Amen. than anything. Yeah. Didn't get to much of this, but thank the Lord we're gonna end it here. God bless you as our prayer. We appreciate you. Um, thought again, the need for nothing. We don't want to have ourselves in a position where is that we're saying we're rich. Yeah. We're saying we, we, we have need of nothing. But God is saying, I know your works. You're not cold. You're not hot. Matter of fact, you make me so sick. It makes me want to vomit. Mm -hmm. We want to be like James. We're entire. Yeah. Lacking nothing. Lord, I don't want to lack anything. Amen. So, Lord, you're developing me. I think it was uh, Daryl Coley. Was it Daryl Coley? Uh, he's preparing yeah. me yeah. for something that I just can't handle right now. Yeah. Wow. What we're going through ain't nothing wasted. It's developing, it's developing us for the next test. Mm -hmm. It's putting something and establishing things in us that we'll be able to stand and withstand what we're going to face in the future. We don't know what we're going to face. Yeah. Sure. But I've seen where, in my experience, where things I went through in the past, mm -hmm. it's helping me today yeah. in what yeah. I'm going through. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It was necessary. God bless you as our prayer, saints of God. We love you. Um, our next service will be, Lord's willing, Friday night, uh, 7 p.m. Tune in. Uh, any questions, if we can help, give us a call. Uh, reach out to us on Facebook, Church of God in Chicago, on Facebook, um, Periscope, on the comments, what have you. Um, um, instant messages, private messages on Facebook. You can see uh, uh, follow us on YouTube also. Uh, we're out there. Um, and we want to be a help to the people by the grace of God. The need for nothing. God bless you is our prayer.